there are few rhythms <laughs> that hang people up as much as the quarter note triplet. For a lot of folks, the quarter note triplets are the stuff of nightmares. How can there be three quarter notes in the span of two quarter notes? What is the bracket for, okay? Remember, <laughs> with everything we do rhythmically, we want to subdivide them in order to understand and internalize them. And I know that with quarter note triplets, people like to say like, come up with a word that makes you think of how, don't do any of that. Um, I, I see this in music teacher groups all the time of like, oh, this is the little saying that I say to, to stimulate that. Don't do that. It's, it's not a good way to teach it. It's not a good way to learn it. What you actually need to do is to subdivide it. What I've done first is I'm going to subdivide the triplets. And you see on the top line, I've notated the quarter note triplets and underneath I've shown the triplet grid. Okay. Now remember, two eighth notes equals a quarter note, right? So the quarter note triplets are actually the eighth note triplets, but with two of them tied together because two eighth notes equal a quarter note. And so all we're doing is we're taking these groups of eighth note, the triplets, and we're putting them together. So now what I'm gonna show you in step two is I'm gonna tie the triplets in groups of two because remember, two eighth notes equal one quarter. And that's how this is working. It's the triplet grid going underneath. So now the magic of vertical lines. And so I'm showing you how to subdivide, right? So how you can visualize this subdivision by attaching the quarter note triplet to the, where it falls in the eighth note triplet. And so let's take this step together, all right? I'm gonna put up the subdivide triplets, the step one again, and I'm gonna show you. It goes one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, right? One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. That's the rhythm, all right? So let's try it again. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, okay? So I'm gonna show you step two. We're gonna, look, so I want you to look at this on the screen. We're gonna tie the triplets in groups of two, okay? So I'm gonna count and clap the exact same thing I did a minute ago, but you're gonna look at this other thing. So one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, okay? Now, step three is I'm gonna draw the vertical lines so you can visualize this rhythm. So as I do this, I'm gonna once again put the Pop Rock 12-8 from the iReal Pro on um, quarter note equals um, 54 beats per minute. And I'm gonna clap this along and I want you to look at the rhythm in front of you and clap along with me when you're ready. Two, three and a, four and a, one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a very good okay and so now what you're going to do is you're going to do exactly the same thing i'm counting what's on the lower line and i'm clapping what's on the upper line okay now step four all right, because you have to be able to see how this fits against the um, the quarter note, right? Because that's what this is. This is called also called a hemiola. Um, I know it makes you want to have a hematoma, <laughs> but it's a hemiola. And what that is is um, the feeling of two against three or four against three. It's when duple and triple kind of collide. All right. So for step four, I'm gonna tap the quarter note triplets. I'm gonna count the subdivisions aloud and I'm going to, and for you, you can tap your foot on the beat, but for me, I'm gonna have two hands doing two different things, okay? So my right hand is gonna do the quarter note triplet and my left hand here is going to do the quarter notes on the bottom, all right? One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a 
one and a two and a three and a four and a good. And so we could go da 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 do da 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 da. So there's your quarter note triplets against your quarter notes. That's three against two. And I know people like to say things like mashed potatoes, mashed, but that's not helpful because what if somebody says mashed potatoes? That's not, it's not going to work. And so one and a two and a three and a four and a, you don't have to hope do the this or the this approach to the rhythm is you actually know the subdivision. So now we're going to get into the quarter note triplet workout. And what you're going to do is practice going from a bar of quarter notes to a bar of quarter note triplets. Okay. And I know again, everyone says quarter note triplets and there's panic at the disco, but don't be afraid. Don't freak out. Um, we've been through this. All right. So I'm going to turn on the pop rock 12, eight again. I'm going to turn it a little faster just because it was very slow. Two, three, four. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four, one and a two and a three and a four and a. Very good. Now we're going to go two quarter notes and two quarter note triplets. Three and a four and a one, two, 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 three and a four and a. Good. Now we're going to do the opposite thing. We're going to do one batch of quarter note triplets followed by two quarter notes. All right. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a 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 three. Excellent. So that's quarter note triplets. It's not that bad. You just want to practice this a bunch. You want to really take some time, go through the lesson a few times if you don't completely understand it, um, because I do, I think I explain it pretty, pretty well. Um, but again, throwing out the idea that we should think of a word like mashed potatoes, because it's just it's just a terrible way to learn, believe me. Um, so instead, you want to really work on this subdiv subdivision. And then if you want to, or it would be worthwhile for you to be tapping the quarter notes while you do the quarter note triplets against it. And again, that's the classic three against two rhythm. Excellent job. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Also take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on notifications. If you need some work on your rhythm, check out my online course, Rhythm Workout. It takes you through all of these amazing steps and it's part of my suite of online courses called The Versatile Musician. For more information about me and my work, check out my website, pianoandvoicewithbrenda.com. Thanks for watching.